All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's Sunday, uh, late morning, I don't know, probably 11 o'clock, and uh, I'm supposed to get rained out today. It's been raining. The worst is on the way. I can handle it a little bit until it soaks my camera. Basically, I need it for sure fish, man, so I came to the land of Easy Catfish, man. I'm about 80 miles down from the house. Basically, I'm in here uh, because there's more catfish here than there is beans at the bush beans plant. So I need fish. Uh, I got to get a video going. My boat's going to be down for a little bit while the trailer gets patched up again. So uh, I just need a for sure fish, man. So that's where I'm at. Uh, the land of catfish. There's more catfish here than beans. I don't have a ton of bait. Uh, very limited on my bait. I got three skipjack, three gizzard shad. I'm in 80 foot and this hole drops down into about 100 feet. Pretty good size hole. I'm running some pretty big hooks, man. 11 knots. You can miss some small fish like that, but definitely good for a larger tooth patch on a big fish and one thing I've seen a million times is a small fish can get a whole lot of bait in its mouth so it's more or less a small fish doesn't have the power to set this hook on himself as easy he'll get it in his mouth here again I'm not worried about the little dink catfish either so I guess I'm just being prepared I'm gonna put a gizzard shad on this one, on my more fine wire hook. Mid-September, water temp 78 degrees. Transition month uh, can be kind of a, a tough month to get a bite. Anytime you get that transition, typically see a little less action, but you can still get the action. You can still get a big fish. Just seems to be where you can get on a tougher bite during the transition months, unless you really get over a hot area. Baits are down, let's see what's around. We don't get nothing here quick. I'll start moving around, see what can be found. I'm, like I say, I'm not in the deepest section of the hole, more or less an entrance to the hole from this, uh, I guess, an island behind me. Anything was feeding shallower and wants to come back into this hole, I'm right in his highway. If it was early morning, I might even fish on the upper end of it. By midday, they should be moved right back in here. That's what I'm figuring. Come on, deer season. This lake will get dead quiet. I'm going to have to put a hat over this camera. i got just a little bit of drizzle going on here. Just enough to be a hassle. I need these fish to bite fast before it turns into a monsoon out here. We just got a bite on the headpiece. Wasn't much of a bite, but it was a bite. We just got a bite on the shad. Wasn't much of a bite, but it was a bite. I don't need no fish in here that small. I'll run out of bait quick. Ain't nothing touched that orange rod. That orange rod seems to have a case of bad juju. If I don't catch a fish on it all day, I won't be surprised. I will go ahead and increase the odds with a fourth rod. I think I'll put shad on it just to save my skipjack until I see this is a real promising area. So far, we ain't caught jack squat. We ain't caught jack squat. We just increased the odds with a fourth rod. We've been out here 15 minutes and we ain't caught jack squat. 
Hey, there we go. He tried. He's still trying. He's still trying. There's something on that green head again, just barely taking it over. He didn't hold it long. Getting a lot of activity, but from what? Is it catfish or is it them dag blasted gar? See that orange rod, it's got something just leaning it over right now. Just leaning it over. Little flathead. He barely whisker hooked. He's whisker hooked. You know, that kind of acted like flathead bites where they were just barely leaning it over. That might be what I'm in right here. This one's whisker hooked, so I'm just gonna baby him. You don't count if you don't get in the boat. And the first fish of the day came on the orange rod. I'll be honest with you, one of the reasons I stopped short of this hole is on my fish finder as I started coming into the 70 foot range, I seen what looked like marks, but I mean laid slap on the bottom. I said that could be flathead stacked up. That's what kept me from actually going into this hole, which is probably another 50, 60 yards this way. I wanted to see what all that was stacked up on the bottom. And so far it appears to be flat hits. Either way, we got the bad juju off the orange rod, got the first fish in the boat. You can see the mud on them where they're laying tight. Either way, we starting out right with the flathead. I knew I'd catch something here today, because down here, there's more catfish than there is oranges in Florida. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Woo! The head piece finally got good.
that fish. Give me my headpiece back. Fish number two. Either way, I knew I'd get another one. Because down here, there's more catfish than there is peaches in Georgia. That old gizzard chad ain't catching jack squat. Well, look, it just got a bite as soon as I said that. Of course, it didn't stay on there. All right, people, should I stay or should I go? I've already caught two fish in this hole, but I actually haven't explored the hole. I just started easing down into it, seeing what I thought looked like flatheads in around the 70 foot range. Said, well, I'll ease into it a little more, and I just kind of dropped some baits. Uh, this is a big hole. It's got some 100 foot water over here. So I think I'm gonna pull up. We're gonna cruise around it a little bit work this thing a little bit, see what's actually here. There's a lot of river here. There's a whole lot of water here and a whole lot of things I could be doing. So I need to get to doing and see what it takes to get them to chewing. I'm gonna turn my fish finder on. I'm gonna look at my Navionics. And I'm probably gonna leave some baits down as I ease my way into this and just drop my baits with the depth. Well, all right, y'all. We're gonna ease across this thing. I'm trying to find the buoy. There's the buoy. I'm gonna aim for that buoy over there. And we're gonna slowly drift on over there. We're gonna go across this thing at the same depth we're in and then we're going to ease down into it. It's a pretty wide hole. I'll keep an eye on that fish finder. Make sure I'm not rubbing up on the bottom or if I need to drop down some so I stay at the right distance above the bottom. I'll tell you what, I'm moving just fast enough. I could drag that old stinking gizzard shad head. I ain't got much faith in gizzard shad today for some reason, but I'm going to throw it on there anyway. Maybe the fact that it's moving won't give them the chance to smell it and decide it's something they don't want. Dag blasted rain. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the heavier stuff. Gizzard Chad, Gizzard Chad, looky there. Uh oh, Skipjack Head, Skipjack Head, Skipjack Head.
he got this boat spun all around. Decent fish of the day. I'm trying to keep this rain off my camera here. He's got he got a little bit of weight to it. He wasn't bad. He's healthy. Just getting out of Dinkville, man. Starting to get into a little bit of quality. Didn't have to go too far, man. We'll see if this rain allows me to continue this video. My camera ain't waterproof. I got this hat over it for now. Gets bad enough, we're gonna have to book. Either way, I knew I'd catch catfish out here today because there's more catfish here than there is apples in Washington State. There's why we're not getting no bites there. That'll do it every time. Dag blasted rain. We got a bait on there now. Dag blasted rain. Gizzard shed, gizzard shed, gizzard shed. Is it going to get one? Nope. That gizzard shed just can't get a thing. One of these days, I'm gonna buy a bilge pump and a raincoat. Orange rod, orange rod. Orange rod, orange rod. Oh, he wanted it. When that water gets about four foot deep in the back of the boat, I'm gonna have to go back to the ramp. I'm not that worried about the boat going down here because this is only like 80 feet deep. But now, if it goes down over where we're headed, that's 100 feet. I'd say I got some big waves fixing to hit me from the back side, which is the worst side to get hit from. Gizzard shad getting tasted. It ain't never gonna get a fish, but it has been tasted about 15 times. All right, oh, oh, oh. The dragon rod getting hit. I got some big tsunami heading towards me now from that boat. There is a very interesting point that comes out by the deepest section of this hole. I think I'm hung up. I'm either hung up or I've got a fish. It's hard to believe it's a fish because that's on the gizzard shed. And the gizzard shed ain't catching squat. But maybe it is a fish. I'll have to check. Yeah, this is digging like a flathead.
This is definitely a flathead. That's a big old flathead. That's a big old flathead right there. He's tangled up my other line. He's a big fish. There he goes. Now he's getting riled up. He done seen me, now he's riled up. Now he's riled up. have a fish on this green rod just sitting there with it. I do have a fish on that green rod. They're almost swimming like another flathead. Let me crank down on him real quick. Yeah. Yeah, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. Let's get a look at this one. They're reeling this other fish over here. It acts like a flathead the way it's just laying there. Woo! I knew I'd get catfish today because down here there's more catfish than there is Harley Davidson's at a bar in South Dakota. Yeah! On that old wore out piece of gizzard shed. S see what this other fish is. I don't think he's no giant, but there's definitely one on there. That's the third flathead for the day. Like I say, when I first pulled down in this hole, which is the reason I haven't worked my way into the deepest part of it yet, I seen what 
look like catfish very tight to the bottom which would remind me of the way flatheads are laid up and that's why I've kind of stuck into this shallower zone of it we still ain't got down in it yet all I done was work across it all I know is I'd catch catfish for show because down here there's more catfish than there is shoes at a shoe store. The weather sucks, but I seem to be having some luck. I was in 77 foot when I doubled up on flatheads. Right off that ledge. I think I had a flathead on that orange rod just now. My God, there is something on that rod just sitting with it. Yeah. Yeah. Another flathead. Flathead number four, man. On that stinking gizzard shed. A used piece of that. <laughs> yeah. The old lemon out got your butt. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll just sit right here. I knew there'd be some fish near because out here there's more catfish than there is potatoes in Idaho. Woo! Back in there. All right, people, the rain finally quit and I'm about out of bait. I came here with hardly not much bait. 
and had not too bad of a day. I knew I would get fish here. That's why I came. In this section of river, there's more catfish than there is french fries at McDonald's. Either way, it is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.